Grieving stepmom of Jodie Chesney, a schoolgirl stabbed to death in 2019, has called on the Mayor of London to focus less on new les and more on solving the capital's problem with knife crime. The comments come as a 16-year-old boy was charged over the weekend with the murder of Harry Pittman, who was killed with a knife on New Year's Eve. Joanne Chesney joins us now alongside former Met Superintendent Leroy Logan. Uh, welcome, uh, one and all. Joe. Um, let's start with you. Thank you so much indeed for... For, for joining us. Just briefly, wish I had more time, tell us your story, please, and why you have this opinion of Sadiq Khan. So basically, my stepdaughter was murdered in 2019. So it's coming up to five years in March. And all we can see is that the problem's only getting worse. And more and more children are being killed on our streets every single day. And he's not doing it, from what we can see, he's not doing anything to actually solve the problem. Nothing's what, being done. What would you like to see done? Uh, are you for increasing punishment for knife crime and amnesty? Do you want more stop and search? What are your thoughts as the mother of a victim? Um, yeah, there should be sentences for even carrying weapons. And it seems like weapons are being glamorised and... Um, sorry. Don't worry, sweet. I know. It's hard. But, yeah, it just it just seems like it's all been swept under the carpet. We're being told the figures are going down, but every day you hear of more children being killed. So how is that solving the problem? I, I couldn't agree more. Um, at the weekend, Rosie, of course, Harry Pittman, that kid two weekends ago, Leroy Logan is with us in the studio. Um, you can only understand completely Joanne's frustration. And I, and I said to her, Leroy, we talk about it endlessly. Idris Elba was talking about it. You know, is it an amnesty? Is it greater punishment? Oh, if we do stop and search, is that against a certain type of person? It's just become an epidemic and it's appalling and a stain, isn't it? Yeah, um, I mean, my condolences to the, the, the victims' families. You know, it's, it's terrible that we're still talking about these things 20 odd years later. I mean, I highlighted these issues from late 90s and um, started to develop um, a charity in 2001 called Void Youth, looking at the education of young people so they don't get caught up into this thug life and glamorization of, of, of that sort of lifestyle. And even though they've got social media making things worse, but it, it's such a complex issue because, you know, exclusions is another thing from schools, but we need proper police and community relations. Um, to ensure that our young people trust the police and will report these things. And so that, you know, you don't have these perpetrators walking around with these knives and thinking they can uh, get away with it. And I'll just say, it needs political will as well. We need a proper, like, cobra or police impact. on the street, don't you? Well, it, yeah, it, and they will coordinate all of that. <clears throat> you know, just like we have cobra with flooding, we need a cobra because it's impacting on so many different ministries, Ministry of Justice, Home Office, Education... Education, you name social it. services, parents... There's Absolutely. something... There's a cultural problem mm. where teenagers think it is safer for me to go out with a knife than without. How do you tackle... How do you tackle well, uh, that? Can I just jump in with one thing which we talked before, and I'd love Joe's opinion on this. Uh, we did a show. How come you can get a zombie knife within 24 hours online? High-tech companies need Crazy, to take yeah. control. That is absolutely... And, and, and I think that's what the, the, the most recent um, Idris Elba idea is to really start working on that. But, I mean, we need to change the mindset so they don't even want to walk with a knife, mm. much less use it. And, and, you know, you have to get those early intervention and prevention programmes. But you've also got to recognise a lot of these youngsters um, are so into this, um, as I said, this peer pressure, and they get caught up in this stuff. And sometimes they don't know how to manage their differences without resorting to violence. Joe, can I bring you in? You blame Sadiq Khan. I just pointed out there about how you can get weapons online. Um, have you had a chance to meet him in the campaign that you've raised? No, I, we actually went to City Hall a few years ago for a peaceful protest because a charity had collected knives from the streets. We had an amnesty bin and we were going to present these knives to him to, to try and highlight the problem. And he didn't even want to leave his office and come out and speak to us. He just wasn't interested at all. Um, Leroy, that's, you know, people think I'm anti Khan. That's appalling. Yeah, well, you're very it, vocal about taking money about you, Les, but really, that's I totally with her. You, you must be with her on that. It's a ball. Oh, yeah, absolutely. No, no, listen, I, I've known Sadiq Khan from <coughs> 2002. So <laughs> I've known him over 20 years. 
and he's, he's, he's dropped the ball on so many occasions. And knife crime is one of those issues. I mean, when he came in in 2016, I, I was one of his police advisors trying to say to him, it has to be a holistic public health approach. And he went down the enforcement route. The first announcement was, I'm going to have an extra, an extra 400 armed officers. What's that got to... You can't arrest your way out of this problem. You can't stop and search your way out of the problem. And you can't put a gun in everyone's face. You've got to work in partnership with grassroots organisations, work with the young people, and, and don't just think you can just dismiss this thing. You've got to keep the pressure on and bring back our community cops. Yeah, Leroy, Joe, we asked Sidi Khan, of course, if he did want to come on. Um, he said no, but we got a statement instead. Uh, yeah. And it is political, um, Leroy. He said the mayor's determined to continue making progress, um, being tough on the complex causes of crime like poverty, inequality, lack of opportunities for young Londoners. But then the statement goes on to say, which have all been made worse by years of government cuts. And that, can I just bring Joe in, because we haven't got much time? That's what happens. Your, your, your daughter was a victim and it becomes a political football, doesn't it? And that must be an absolute nightmare to deal with. And the thing is with Jodie is she wasn't even involved in any kind of, any kind of gangs, any kind of crime. All she was doing that day was sitting in a park with her friends, enjoying her Friday night. And that's the point it's got to. It's not just gangs attacking each other, they're attacking innocent children. Um, Joe, Leroy, I'd love more time. Um, we threw this out to people, and I think there's a comment from Ricky that rather sums it up. Joanne is totally correct. I'm not going to pass comment on the London mayor. People can work him out for themselves. But I hope that the family can at some point find peace and solace. Rest in peace, Jodie, which is absolutely right. But we need to change the mindset. Leroy, uh, Joanne, thank you both very much indeed. Really appreciate you. your time.